Let's take a look at some charts on Dogecoin from this week's article on Brave New Coin. So Doge is a proof of work coin, essentially meant to be a sandbox, not necessarily an investment for new people to come in, play around with crypto for a few pennies without fear of losing a bunch of money. Over time, it sort of eclipsed even that starter mentality and has just stuck around as a proof of work coin. It's merge mined with LTC on script ASICs, meaning if you're mining LTC, you're also getting rewarded in Doge. This is another reason why, despite being a meme coin, it hasn't disappeared. Security wise, it's quite solid because of the merge mining nature to LTC. And if we look at the hash rate since April, it's returned to the kind of mid 2018 highs. So hash rate has picked up a lot. Part of that is botnets which have emerged for Doge, oddly enough, which secretly mine LTC and Doge script coins on servers in a virus type nature. If we look at the script ASICs, the profitability here is probably LTC profitability and not Doge profitability, but if it's just one and not the other, profitability is actually slightly better than what it shows here. I don't think it's both, but it might be. LTC and Doge. Uh, there haven't been any new script ASICs in 2020. The other possibility here is that this represents covert script ASIC mining or new ASICs that haven't been on released yet publicly. Uh, I doubt that because of the sharp dips and extremes in general in the hash rate here quickly. You usually don't see that in something that's quote unquote organic. Usually that's botnet activity, stuff that turns on really quickly and turns off really quickly. If we look at the transaction count, again, the transaction counts are way up. Part of this is botnet stuff. Transaction counts have declined since the highs, which basically matched the 2015 all-time high very closely. Price didn't really have any reaction to that. Uh, mean transaction size also just kind of flat. Active addresses also spiked again. If that's probably botnet activity, it's not necessarily new people flocking to Doge. And NVT is pricing in that botnet activity. So again, it looks more bullish than it is because the decreasing NVT says that market cap hasn't adequately priced in. the on-chain activity. But if the on-chain activity is a botnet, then, you know, that's not going to last, right? So you have to look a little deeper than the chart to get the full picture. Looking at MVRV, another one of these on-chain metrics. In general, MVRV hasn't been too valuable for Doge. But if NVRV was decreasing to multi-year lows, then you could say with a high degree of certainty that it's probably more bullish than price is experiencing right now as far as what you'd expect. It's still in the middle of the multi-year range. But again, just like NVT, lows or decreases in NVT or MVRV should be seen as a buying opportunity, whereas highs are seen as overbought risk of collapse situation. If you look at Google Trends, we had this spike from the TikTok pump and dump. And ever since then, it just went back to the previous range. So no lasting power here, just flat overall. It kind of makes you wonder if the botnet and TikTok pump and dump was related in some way. If you want to get your tinfoil hat on, you get a bunch of 
influencers to pump your botnet coins that were mined for free so that way you profit even more on the exit i don't know just a just a conspiracy that i thought about in the past five seconds if we look at the weekly doge btc chart it's generally been extremely simple it's ranged from 100 sats to 20 30 sats it's typically had these, I think it's 52 week cycles, something like that on average, where it'll hit the lows, hit the highs in between a set number or average number of weeks. It's way behind on that schedule currently. RSI is below 50, so it's clearly bearish don't really need rsi to tell you that when it's pushing multi-year lows price wise it's at 23 sats yearly pivot at five sats i mean if it goes to single digits that'll be pretty ugly for uh, doge but in order for this thing to be bullish again it's got to get above 33 to 40 sats 40s are the real determining factor here anything above 40 and i think the market would take notice in a bullish direction you might be thinking, why is he talking about Doge? It's at multi-year lows. Well, that's a really good time to evaluate a coin. You know, if it's pushing lows with a bullish divergence, which it isn't currently, then you could say, all right, there's a decent speculative buying opportunity here. But that's something you look for going forward. If this gets a bullish divergence months from now, let's say BTC goes to all-time highs or something, you know, then you'll start to see rotation into coins that are just at the bottom of the barrel right because why not people are gonna people are up x percent on high cap coins they're gonna start looking for ways to keep the ball rolling historically that's been stuff like ltc and doge so it's worth keeping it in the back of your mind going into 2021 if we look at the weekly cloud again it hasn't really been above the weekly cloud ever so if that does happen into 2021 late 2021 definitely worth taking a speculative stab at it and the daily cloud kind of says the same thing as well it's way below the cloud below the 50 below the 200 below the kijun below the tenkin obviously bearish Probably the earliest I'd want to get into it personally from from the long side would be a Kumo breakout on the daily. So it's got to be above all this stuff in the future. But right now it's uh, clearly more bearish than bullish, especially because it's not a DeFi coin. It's not one of these attractive, shiny new objects. It just is existing, coexisting peacefully with Litecoin. So if the high large caps start to really take off, that's why I think Doge is worth paying attention to because you'll see this despair sell off. Look for a bullish divergence. Look for the rotation game to start. Probably Q2 2021. I think the earliest is when, the earliest this will get bullish again, honestly.